Hi, everyone, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolsky, and welcome to Anaheim here in Southern California. The Ducks have to close out this home stretch, which has been very friendly to them. Played very well here at home. They started out well, started to put some really good stretches of play together. Now they'd like to finish this off and send their fans home happy for their support. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Penguins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Makes the glove stop. Gibson's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Anaheim's in transition. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes a hit on the play. You can hear that hit from where I'm standing. He's not going to get up. He's going to need some help and attention from the trainer. Oh, it looked like he took a big hit there. Let's get another look at that. I, I think he's shaking up. One possession. Can't connect on the pass. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Moves it over to Steele. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Nice zone entry from the left. Fires it on net. Denies him with a save. Gibson's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Comtois gaining momentum. Moves it to Silverberg. Dishes it to Steele. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. The Penguins are on the attack. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. Up along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Stops him cold. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Slides it across to Manson. Quick feed to Comtois. Anaheim's on the attack. And they won't connect on that one. Passes it to Kapanen. And now he tries to get it across to Zucker. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Quick pass across to Terry. And that's picked up by Carter. Here's a shot. Brings the bill off the post. Carter's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He's created chances. He's been in the right spot. But all he can do is hit the post. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. And in the middle of the neutral zone. And that pass can't connect. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. Errant pass, and they can't connect. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Play rolls on. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And he scores. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Penguins get a little breathing room as they take a 1-0 lead. They've worked hard for this goal, James. There's not been much room on the ice, but they're able to get out in front. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Drives to the paint! Oh, going wide! You 
kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Gets it over to Fadoon. Feeds it to Crosby. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, just a great heads up play by Grant. Receives the pass. The Ducks looking against the half wall. That's kicked away with the pad by Jari. Scooped up along the wall by Fadoon. Puck grab by Grabner. Quick pass to Larson. Takes the pass. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Matheson. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Cross ice pass inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. And that's turned aside by Gibson. Denies him again. Gibson's going to smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Replay gives you the same result as live time. Goalie turns away a good scoring chance. Here in the late goings of the period, Pittsburgh's ahead 1-0. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies right in front of him. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's over to Zucker. Rips it on net. That's off a stick. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Quick shot. And puts it right over the crossbar. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And the offensive onslaught will come to an end as the clock runs out, bringing the period to a close. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. about set to go. Crosby's won the draw. Makes a move in front. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Penguins lead it 1-0. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. And he takes a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. And now he moves it to Dumoulin. And that's a great hits up play by Silverberg. Looks to make a play over to Comtois. And that's knocked away by Dumoulin. Passes on over to Crosby. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Latang's such an aggressive player. You see him among the league leaders in hits. And what his style does is open up the ice for other players. It creates havoc on a four check. And you always need to know when he's around. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Moves it to Kapanen. Here he is, shot right in front. Made that stop. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Misses on the redirect. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Denies him on the play. Keeps a hold of the puck. Nice pass. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Pittsburgh's got the puck at center. And they'll go the other way with it. Knocked away. Moves the puck to Aston Reese. All alone. Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. It's like 
like he almost deked himself out. There was nowhere to go with it, and the goalie makes the save. Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looked like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Penguins have taken a 1-0 lead. Carter's won the faceoff. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Aston Reese. Puck picked up by Raquel. Here's a short pass to Jones. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Slides it to Jones. Handles the puck. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Passes the puck over to Fowler. Quick feed to Raquel. That pass doesn't go. Here he is in front. Off the glove. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Here's a shot. Gets down in front of it. Moves the puck. Uh-uh, that's blocked away. Sends one across. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Cross corner dump in. Moves it quickly over to Heinen. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Jari's workload has been pretty light, but he's able to make a really good save here. This game is not going to spread out. Past the midway mark in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Grant's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. Here's the shot. Oh, it cuts up with nothing on the play. Icing the call, and you can't really stall much these days for a face -off, No, they changed this rule a little bit ago, a couple of years, where the defensive team would get their first guy kicked out on purpose, and then the other guy would fiddle around till he went in. Now it's just a warning, and they drop the puck right away. Taken by Cooley. Grabbed along the board by Larson. And now it's grabbed by Grant. Hangs onto the puck. Anaheim's got him along the wall. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Gibson's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. The Ducks have been penalized, holding the call. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's gonna be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. And they get the puck out. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Hammers it on net. Big time stop. Pittsburgh's gain possession. Takes a shot and offers up a little sweet chin music going high. The net's been four feet high for a hundred years. That one's been high since the 1920s. Desperately trying to get it out of the end. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. The Laurier style's not really going to change that much, but I know he's getting talked to by the coaches continually about trying to rein in the penalty minutes. This is a list you don't want to be on. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Pittsburgh's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, what a stop! Trying to clear the puck. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. Yeah, no one's gonna keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. Here's a shot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, they do it again! Half of the goals in this league are scored from directly in front of the net. That doesn't happen with a save like this. The Penguins gain possession. Sends the pass over. 
The Ducks will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Great reach with the poke check. Lindholm's got it across the line. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Zucker's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends it over to Gensel. To his teammate. Oh, so close on that. Wrist shot from the slot. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Gibson's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Gensel's got such an accurate shot, guys. That's his snipe zone ability, but the key to that accuracy is shooting when the puck is flat and settled on the ice. Puck scooped up by Matheson. And he says no! Oh, there's one more! And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. In the final moments of this period, 1-0 the score. Delorier's ready to go. The Penguins come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back. He scores! Sidney Crosby sent the kid. Wow, did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. get back to center with a 2-0 lead here now. Uh, this is where the game really should be, James. They've been the better team. They've had the puck the most, and now they got a two-zip lead. Taken by Pedersen. Couldn't complete the pass. Anaheim's looking to break out. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. The Penguins have played excellent defensive hockey tonight. They lead it 2-0. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. drop the puck here on period number three. Sends one up to Gensel. Across the line from center. Cannon of a shot off a stick. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Crosby. Broken up in the neutral zone by Steele. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken along the wall by Crosby. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. That's sent in deep and the forwards will change. Anaheim's in now. And that's not to side with the stick by Dumoulin. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed down low. Anaheim's got the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Quick pass to Malkin. And that one's broken up. Slides the puck over. Now a quick pass to Getzlaff. Slides it over to Dumoulin. Moves it to Kapanen. The Penguins carried along the wall. He was right there and they can't convert. Shot tip, that's three consecutive goals. Yeah, the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. Couple of things to look at here on the replay. Watch the positioning to deflect the puck. And then look how hard it is to track. The goalie's got all kinds of people all over the place trying to find the puck. Can't do it this time. The 
Pittsburgh's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. The Penguins gain control. He scores! They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. Man, again? That's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Penguins have put in a complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. Their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've had them up in the air here. This has been a <laughs> dominating offensive performance. No kidding. Puck grab by Terry. The Ducks will play from the defensive zone. Try to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. And no luck on that pass attempt. Picked up along the boards by McGinn. Here's a short pass to Drysdale. Tosses it to Terry. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to McGinn. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Uses the force on that hit. Centering pass. Can't get it to go. Makes the save on the slapper. And they can't connect. Anaheim's got it against the boards. Sends it in deep. Feeds it over Whoa. to Aston Reese. The Penguins move to the offensive zone. A chance! Denied by Gibson. Here he is from the slot. He scores! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. Pittsburgh's on fire tonight, and they show no signs slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Grabner. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Broken up at center by Rust. Here he is in close. And the puck fakes off the glove. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping the play. Penalty coming up. I don't think this will have much of an impact on this one. Marino's going to serve a pair for interference. Ah, going to be tough to argue that one away. He just stopped him dead in his tracks. But he doesn't have the puck. And their first chance to use the man advantage. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Into the corner of the attacking area. Feeds it down low. And it's a quick pass to Drysdale. And that's broken up. Picked up along the wall by Drysdale. Takes it right in the chest. Jari's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage and play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. Raquel's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Pad save. He's on it tonight. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Change up, change up. 
Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Sends a pass over. A chance right in front. Fantastic save. And they clear that puck. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. The Ducks have it now. Receives the pass. The Ducks take it across the blue line. Slides it across. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And the puck clears the zone. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck over to Lindholm. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Looking to clear the defensive zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. From the right side, they gain the zone. Gets it out of his own end. Marino's up at the box. The Penguins are back to even strength as the PK unit comes up large. All a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done, the power play expires. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Snaps it out of the net, gets a glove on it to make the save. Quick hands, not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Here in the later stages of this period, Pittsburgh's got a 5-0 lead. That's right, 5-zip is where we sit. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that shot dies in traffic. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Just slide. And serves up a little knock on the play. Quick pass to Raquel. And that's poked away by Padum. Can't get it to go. Moves it to Crosby. Denies him! These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Scooped up along the wall by Raquel. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And that's picked off in front. And this one comes to an end. Paul Maurice once said to me many years ago, show me a good coach, I'll show you a good goalie. There's a good one tonight. Yeah, the team looks good, and the goalie was great. The win that comes on the heels of a solid defensive performance, but when your goalie throws an egg up, it makes everybody look good. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.